When Camry Anderson was born four months early, she weighed just one pound, four ounces. Faced with many serious health problems, Tiny Camry struggled just to survive her first months of life. There were a lot of days that we weren't sure that she was even going to make it. We were overwhelmed, you know, and we didn't know what the future held for us. Uh, we knew, you know, the challenges were going to be great. Camry's challenges continued at home. Like many preemies, she was slow to achieve developmental milestones. She fell behind other children her age, and eventually, Camry was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Family is very important to the Andersons. The kids are homeschooled, and quality time together is a priority. The Andersons also spend a lot of time at the Easter Seals Rehabilitation Center. After 10 years of therapy, it's truly a home away from home and Camry's therapists are like members of the family. In the last 10 years that Camry has been going there, uh, we've seen great progress with her. Uh, of course, she, she wanted to run like all the other children, and uh, she's been able to accomplish that. Uh, she, her balance is better, her walking's better. Um, you know, through all the therapies and treatments that she's received, I mean, she's just made great progress in, in being able to come along and, and do the things that she wants to do in life. I think, uh... My dad is a very cool guy and he knows how to make you laugh and when I'm feeling down he really um, inspires me and is, I look up to him so that's how I feel about my dad. She's a wonderful person uh, and she's going to do great things. I can't imagine what these last 10 years would have been like if I hadn't had the help of Easter Seals. They've really impacted me a lot. I'm coming far, but it's still a challenge. I get physical therapy and we work on a lot of like core strengthening and trunk strengthening. When Camry reaches back and picks up the ring on the ball, she has to do a full sit-up, which works on the strength in her stomach, and that is extra hard for her because I'm making her rotate to the side even and um, push up and use those side stomach muscles and not just the big muscle in the middle of her stomach. Camry's been coming to the rehab center uh, since she was three, and I started working with her at that time. She gives 100% all the time. Um, she's just been a joy to work with. Camry and I spend a lot of time working on her balance and her coordination with her walking. And one activity that we do is using an exercise um, strip around her weaker leg. Um, and by me giving her resistance as she steps, she has to work harder with those steps on the right side. And we've seen improvement in her strength um, by that activity. Another goal that Camry and I are working on is um, achieving more independence on going up and down the stairs and this is actually a big goal of hers because she has a flight of stairs that she has to climb at church. My biggest goal is to walk up the stairs without help. I think I'm doing very good actually. It's still tricky but we're coming along. Camry has tremors in her hands and that makes it more difficult for her to write in cursive writing. So we're looking for a different alternative for her to write written communication. So in occupational therapy here at the center we started trying uh, to work on typing and so when Camry works on typing she's able to do the types of things she needs to do as far as on the computer and schoolwork. Camry's actually doing really well. She's gone through several levels on the typing program that we're using, and she is now able to hit buttons singly and is starting on upper row letters on the keyboard. On the computer program that Camry's working on today, it gives you short bursts of lines to type, and if you type it successfully at 75% or above accuracy, then it gives her a reward with the animated character doing something fun. She's excited about being a teenager, but um... She's very aware of, of the physical side of having a disability um, and we're trying to teach her that you have to accept you know, what you're going through and if you accept yourself for who you are, others are going to accept it a lot easier too. My friends are cool and they help me with a lot of stuff. They're really fun to play golf with. I think I do pretty good for myself. I got a home one, one time. No more. <laughs> at the youth night that we have at our church, they'll have a dodgeball tournament. She loves to play dodgeball. Uh, she gets out there and she runs around and um, you know, she, she competes with them and 
Uh, they do take a little special care of her, so she loves to get out there and she likes the challenge. So. It's a blast. Well, I'm working on throwing the ball like harder, but I'm getting there, so. My faith is very important, um, especially when you go through trials in your life. I think um, why I stayed so strong is um, my faith in God. I know that all things are possible with God, and my faith, I try very hard not to let it waver. That faith in the Lord is what has pulled them through, and their understanding of God and His Word, and their, their faith in God. Is, is so vitally important, not only to them, but to this church. And not only do they just say they are members, they're here every time the doors are open, no matter what's happening. I'd like to um, thank my mom and dad. They've really uh, been there for me, and I'm just really happy that, that they're my parents, and they've inspired me a lot, so. So I had one wish. It would be that nobody would ever have to go through this. But because we do have trials in life and we do have problems, uh, my one wish is just that everyone would just keep their faith and stay strong. And you can make it.